20 second favorite tech fact of all time is Steve Jobs basically got fired from Apple. Wait, Steve Jobs, he was the co-founder. How do you fire the co-founder? It's his company. You see, when Apple started in 1976, Jobs was only 21 years old. Now, he was able to massively grow the company with computers like the Apple II, but once the company went public, people were like, all right, he's been doing well, but he's a kid in his 20s. Maybe we hire like a real CEO. That's what Apple did. They hired a new CEO named John Scully. He's older, more experienced, did really well at Pepsi, so they brought him in like, okay, you know what you're doing, run the company. But the main visionary of Apple and the CEO of Apple started to butt heads. Oh, I want to make the computer 2,500 bucks to help reduce costs. No, that's too expensive. We need to make it 2,000 I want to focus on making computers for businesses. No, I want to make computers for Well, if Steve founded the company and hired the guy, if they're butting heads, why doesn't Steve just fire him? Well, he can't. By the mid-1980s, Apple wasn't just Steve Jobs' passion project anymore. It was a publicly traded company. Real decision-making power was now in the hands of the CEO and the board of directors that represent the investor. And together, they decided, listen, Steve's kind of tripping here. We might need to reduce his role at the company. Steve caught wind of this and was like, I'm staging a coup. I'm getting some employees together. I'm going to take this company back over. And Scully heard about that and was like, okay, emergency meeting. What are we doing here? At this meeting, the board decided, okay, listen, Steve, we're not going to fire you, but you're going to have like a little office. Nobody's going to report to you. You can just like play around with your technology, but you're not running anything. Steve Steve was like, screw that, it's either him or me. Everyone take a vote. He assumed the board would be on his side, but they weren't. Now that the CEO and board were both against him and refusing to take a lesser role at the company, Steve decided to step away from Apple.